Hey guys, um, okay, so I just got off work as you can see by my caribou shirt. Um, now, yesterday I was recording my first beauty vlog slash Sephora haul and my camera shut off, like right in the middle of a sentence. So, what I'm going to do is edit that bit after this and then I'm going to jump in again at the end um, where you will be able to see me talk about the mascara that I mentioned but I don't talk about because my camera died. Okay. I'm just gonna roll it. Hey guys, um, alright, so I'm going to be doing a beauty vlog for you today. If you follow me on Tumblr, you've already seen the photo set of the different things I got from Sephora today, um, but then I realized I've been completely obsessed with my mascara lately, so I wanted to talk to you about that as well. Um, so the first thing, I got an eyeshadow palette, which I'm so stoked about. It is the Sephora Micro Smooth Bake Cole Baked Collection. And so it has 15 different eyeshadows, which, if I can open it, there we go. Okay, so it has 15 different eyeshadows here, and then it has an illuminator, a blush, and a bronzer. Um, now my skin is really sensitive, and we, I mean, ever since I was four, we've known this. Um, I used to, I did dance, and the blush that we had to wear made my face break out. So I have to be very careful with what I'm putting on my face. So I personally probably won't be using those three products on the side, but I've already broken into the eyeshadows, as I'm sure you could tell. Um, so let me kind of show you what I've done here. So I did um, darker, I did black here on the outer edges, and then there was a gold, or uh, a brown shimmer that I took across the whole lid and then I did a light gold shimmer here in the center um, and I now I put this on probably my neighbors are doing construction and I don't understand why because it's 10 30 at night anyway um sorry so um, I put this on about six hours ago and what I used underneath it was the fresh rose fresh face primer and I don't know if it's going to focus. I hope you'll be able to see what I'm showing you. Um, but I got this little bitty thing with my Beauty Insider points. And even though it's a face primer, I wanted to see how it would work as a shadow primer. And just based on my history with eyeshadow, I think it worked pretty well. Um, normally, after six or seven hours, my shadow was just like little shimmery flecks. You couldn't even tell if there were a color. Um, and it's just completely gone. So I definitely... I don't know. I like this. I think I'm definitely going to be using it, um, you know, a few more times before I make a solid decision if I'm in love with it or not. But I love the eyeshadow palette. And so I do want to thank um, Zoe for recommending the Sephora eyeshadow palettes. Um, everyone is obsessed with the naked palettes, but I just could not fathom using my entire $50 gift card for one eyeshadow palette. So definitely loving this. Um, then the primer. And then I bought an eyebrow pencil. Now, anyone who knows me knows I'm very self-conscious about my eyebrows. When I was in 10th grade, my friend convinced me to go get them waxed, and a whole piece of skin came off this one here. The eyebrows never grown back the same, so I, when I discovered eyebrow pencils, I was like, yes! And so I've definitely tried my fair share over the years, but my personal favorite has been the Anastasia Brow Wiz Skinny Brow Pencil. So it looks like this. I don't even know if my autofocus is working, but we're just gonna, we're gonna hope that it is. And so it has a brush on this end, and then the twist up pencil over here, and my, I get the shade Brunette, it's the darkest shade, um, but I love it, I, I really like, you know, you can see the tip here, and it's not like a fine tip, but it's, I don't know, it's really successful, and I've tried brow tints, I've tried brow pens, I've tried the little brush that no this this has always been the best for me and I can actually show you what the box looks like just so you know kind of what to look for comes in a box like this just a skinny little box um, and I'll have all the information about these things <laughs> all the information is like four things um, in the description box below then no those are the things that I bought but then with my and the um, primer that I got with my insider points and then because it was my birthday on Tuesday I got the Fresh Sugar Kisses Mini Lip Duo. So the box looks like this. And on the back it says, Our birthday gift to you, the sweetest smooch ever. This lip-loving duo nourishes, protects, and perfects your pout with a blend of skin-softening sugar, moisturizing seed oils, and antioxidant-rich vitamins. So there's a clear one and then a tinted one. And I gave my mom the clear one, so it looks like this. It's just a little mini cute thing. And the top screws off. And then, oh boy. Then you twist this up here, and so it looks like this. 
Um, and I really love it. It has kind of like a, like a lemony rose smell. It smells really good. Um, and it's just a, it's just a lip balm that you put on and it doesn't, you know, because it's called sugar, I thought it'd be like gritty or something, but it's not, it's, it's so soft. The only thing is the regular size of these twenty two fifty. But honestly, I love it so much, I may actually be willing to shell out that amount because it lasts for a long time. Okay, so that was all of the Sephora stuff. And then I mentioned that really awesome mascara I've been obsessed with and I figured, hey, it's my first beauty vlog, I might as well bring up any other kind of beauty products that I've been loving lately. So the mascara is Maybelline Full and Soft and I'm going to insert a picture here. And basically... I love it. Basically. No, it's really, it's such a good mascara. I have tried so many different lengthening and thickening and um, curling and whatever. No, but seriously, because um, I don't really wear makeup, so, but I have been wearing mascara since 7th grade because my eyelashes are little stubs and I wanted something so you could actually see that I have them. It's just so good. It makes them, like, they feel... Okay, well, they feel like mascara, but <laughs> this is so fine. I'm doing so good. Oh, my Santa hat. I won't try to put that on. I am so tired. Anyway, I'm so exhausted. This is the worst vlog ever. That's cold. Okay, well anyway, um, I did a really good job of telling you why I love Maybelline Full and Soft, but I love it, and it's my friend, my friend Becca actually showed it to me, and she's like, it's undiscovered, you know, it's been around forever, and I don't feel like anyone knows about it. I feel like because it looks like an old lady mascara, um, but it's amazing. I want everyone to try it. Please try it, and then be like, Mariah, you were so right. Okay, that's all. I'm gonna go now before I say anything else stupid, and also I need to decide how I'm going to end my vlogs. Can I say stay Gucci? If there's someone that already says that, someone should tell me. I only have 8 subscribers. But that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna end my vlogs with stay Gucci. Stay Gucci! Bye! Wow, that's so... Bye.